Seems like there have been more alligator attacks this year. And if you thought so, you're right. Florida Fish and Wildlife reporting 22 incidents so far, and that includes one over the weekend in Lakewood Ranch that seriously injured a 77-year-old woman. Back in July, you may remember, a Sarasota County woman lost her life. Well, a man named Eric Merda is among those who have survived an alligator attack. He spent three days lost in the woods before he finally got help. And now he's sharing his story with Fox 13. Spoke to Kimberly Quizon, who joins us now in studio. We're talking serious injuries here, and this is one of the most uh, just harrowing stories I've heard in a long time, Kim. It really is, Cynthia. Well, Eric Murda lost his arm during the attack, but he says as that gator kept hold of him, he knew it was do or die, and he did everything. To Nobody survive. heard me for those three days. At Lake Manatee, Eric Murda was alone, missing part of his arm, and had just been attacked by a gator. I'm just screaming. On July 17th, Murda had just finished an irrigation job in Parrish when he decided to stop near Lake Manatee Fish Camp in Mayaka City. He says he threw away trash and got lost while walking in the woods. Finally found the water and I seen where my truck was. I decided I could swim across. Murda says it was dark when he jumped in. Halfway across the lake, he encountered a gator. And I decided to swim and she grabbed the outside of my arm like this and I, and I grabbed her. So I didn't want her rolling over on me because I already knew about that. She snapped my arm backwards. And then she drug me under three times. Murda says he kept kicking and eventually the gator let go. It's do or die. You know, do you want to live? Do you want to die? I was given the opportunity to make a choice. And obviously I chose to live. Murda's arm is now gone. While he relives those moments over and over in his head, he says the attack gave him something to live for. I'm actually thriving. I'm going up and I'm not coming back down. After recent gator attacks, Murda asks others to listen to his message to ensure others are kept safe. Leave the alligators alone. More times than not, it's not the people's fault that are getting attacked. It's the people throwing the rocks and giving them food. And feeding gators is a huge no-no. It causes them to associate people with food and to lose their fear of humans. As for Murda, he hopes to be fitted with a prosthetic arm later this week. Cynthia, back to you. Yeah, we hope that that will help him maybe, you know, get some normalcy in his life. But, boy, I, I can't imagine. That could have turned out so much differently, Kimberly. And you know what I'm talking about, too, because you've covered these stories. Yes, absolutely. So. All right. Thank you.